Hello and welcome back to the Joyful Soul Creates, Lady Joyful here and I'm so glad you could join me for this video which is my 10 cards one kit video for the April Simon Says Stamp card kit. I'm a little bit behind on my card kits but I hope I will have the main one out in May so we shall see how that goes. But the April card kit was the Beautiful Day card kit which had some very pretty butterfly stamps and a stencil. And here for my first card I am using the stencil. This is the Butterflies 6x6 stencil exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. And I am ink blending Squeeze Lemonade which came in the card kit. The Squeeze Lemonade is Distress Oxide ink. I ink blended that through the stencil directly onto my white panel and then I decided I wanted to add a bit of Depth. So I bought in Spiced Marmalade which I have just as a regular Distress Ink and I'm just adding that into the centres of the flowers, um, flowers, the butterflies and I just thought that would help give them a bit of depth and dimension. I then added a sentiment. This sentiment is from the Beautiful Day stamp set that came in the kit. And I'm, I stamped it on with the same squeezed lemonade ink. I felt like the butterflies were getting a little bit lost against the white panel. They weren't standing out quite as much as I would have liked. So I took a grey pencil and just shaded around the left edge of each of them to give them a kind of shadow and help them have the appearance of popping off the panel a bit. Once I was happy with that I started assembling my card. I have a matting layer of the pattern paper which is the lawn fawn really rainbow paper pad. I gutted away the centre of that to use on a future card and then I adhered my panel over the top of that layer and then I decided to bring in some Nouveau drops. This colour is a uh, limoncello I believe and I just put the Nouveau over the ink blended dots because this stencil had some dots along that pattern so I covered those with the Nouveau drops. My second card I played around with my layout before starting as you can see. I decided to create a frame from another piece of the Really Rainbow papers. This time I'm using a green paper. So I've made a frame using two Lawn Fawn Stitch oval dies. And you could use any oval dies that you have. I will set aside the centre portion of the oval because I don't need that now and I will use that on a later card. And I will just be using the frame for this card. So I laid the frame onto my white card base. This is made with the Simon Says Stamp £120 cardstock that came with the kit. And I'm using the Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide ink to just add some light ink blending to the centre of the oval area. Then I wanted to stamp out some elements to add to the sides of the oval. So I stamped the long leafy vine or branch and one of the butterflies just doing some very simple colouring. I do any shading. I felt that the style, the way these stamps are drawn, I thought it really suited the look of uh, having a block of colour per segment, which is what I've done on the leaves and I will do the same on the butterfly. And I'm using my Spectrum Noir markers, Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers, and you can see the caps on screen. For all the other times through this video that I've used the stamp set I haven't shown the colouring just because it would make the video very long if I left it all in. So I'm using a variety of blues for the butterfly and I fussy cut those out off screen. I'm adding a sentiment from the stamp set into my oval just over the blue ink blended area and then I'm popping up the frame on foam tape and then I attached my leaves and butterfly also with foam tape. Probably have been much easier if I had um, stuck those on to the frame before adhering the frame down because then I could have got my foam tape all on at once and it would have made adhering it together much easier. My third card uses that panel of pattern paper that I gutted away from the first card and I die cut three little squares from one side of it. I'm then stamping both leafy branches and one of the butterflies from the stamp set. Coloured those off screen and fussy them out. To weave the branches through the windows that I'd created. So I hunted them and put tape on the back of the panel and then I realised that actually I wanted to slide the squares back into place which would have been much easier if I'd done it before putting the tape on the back of the panel but I managed with the help of my reverse tweezers. So then I removed the backing from all my foam tape, put my 
rubber panel into place on the card base and press down all of my leaves. The leaves are popped up, some of them are flat on the card base, and then I added my butterfly, some liquid glue below its body and double layer of foam tape under the wings. I decided I wanted to add a sentiment which I should have done before adhering everything down, but with the help of my Misty it worked just fine. Finally I added some shimmer to the butterfly using the, um, I think it's Tonic Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen. do that to most of my butterflies throughout the video. For card number four I started by masking off a yellow card base which is made from the bright yellow card that came in the kit. To ink blend over it with the squeeze lemonade ink and this is yellow on yellow but the squeeze lemonade it does it does look different, it's kind of hard to see on video, but it does give a slightly different look. And then I'm using a ruler and my glue pen to add some zig glue along the edges of the ink blended stripes, which worked very well on the first one, but I tried to get a bit more glue down on the second one, and then because I slid the ruler instead of picking it up, it um, smudged the glue a bit. But I set the card base aside to dry once I had all the lines of glue in place. I'm using the sparkling silver fancy foil and I'm going to apply that over my glue where it's tacky now that it's dried a bit and you can see it has a bit of a distressed look where it's where the glue smudged. I then added my sentiment to the bottom right hand corner. Off screen I coloured and fussy cut a butterfly this time with shades of an oranges and I adhered that over my strips first just adhered it flat with my glue and then I'm adding some foam tape behind the wings to give them a bit of volume and this just helps add some dimension to the card and make the butterfly look a bit more realistic. Finishes that card. My fifth card I decided to do some more foiling and rather than using the glue pen I used some double sided tape attach my foil to. I don't have a laminator which is why I'm using this method of foiling which works fine and uh, this card kit is actually the very first time I've tried using foil. I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube of people using foil but this is my first time using it myself. I added foam tape to my uh, doll pink I think this is card base adhered the pattern paper panel with the fold edge to the bottom, the corner, cut away the overhanging pieces, stamped my sentiment and then I adhered a butterfly which I'd coloured in shades of pink. It's my fifth card. I decided to really feature the foil. Again I'm using some double sided tape, this time I'm using some very wide double sided tape to the opening side of my island blue card base. It seemed a bit um, I guess the edge between the foil and the card base so I added a peel off left over from I think it was the March love from Lizzie card kit. So I added that along the edge between the foil and the card base. I then stamped a sentiment and then I'm adding some nouveau drops in sea breeze which is a nice blue colour jewel drop so they will dry quite clear and translucent. Um, but they will show the blue colour from below from the card base quite well as well. For card number seven, I started by die cutting a circle of white card using a Sizzix circle die. I measured this against my sentiment to start with and I stamped the sentiment into the centre of it. I'm then going to do some third generation stamping using both of the oxide inks, the blue and the yellow and stamped them all around the circle and then I also ink blended around the edges of the circle with the yellow. I have a piece of one of the pattern papers which is my base panel for my card base and I will adhere that down to the card base just flush on the card base and I also had cut a banner of an off cut from this pattern paper I used for the banner and stamped a secondary sentiment onto that. I adhered the banner onto the circle and then popped those both up on foam tape onto my stripy card base. 
card number 8 uses one of the red card bases, which was made from the lipstick red card. I used another piece of pattern paper, this is another kind of rainbow pattern, and I stamped my sentiment with the Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide. I cut three butterflies and I tried to colour these almost to be reminiscent of a rainbow. Top butterfly is red, orange, yellow to yellowy green. The next butterfly is green to blue, and then the last butterfly is blue through to purple, so they kind of goes through the spectrum as you go along. So I adhered those with liquid glue and foam tape to give them some dimension as I have done with my other butterflies on my other cards. Card number nine I went back to the stencil and I really did struggle with the stencil. I think the cards I made with the stencil, this one and the first one, are probably my least favourite cards of the ten I made. I like the stencil, I just don't like what I did with it and I need to have a think about how I can better utilise this stencil. So I am ink blending the butterfly onto a panel of the yellow pattern paper. I did go over the edge a bit here so I'm just using my sand eraser to remove the areas where the ink got on the panel where I didn't want it to be. And then I will add a third butterfly and my idea here had been that the biggest butterfly is the stronger colour and then I kind of faded the colour out as I went down the panel. I then used the Mermaid Lagoon again to stamp my sentiment just off to the left hand side and I really wasn't happy so I decided to go back in with the stencil again and this time I'm using the Squeeze Lemonade Distress Oxide which really gives a very subtle look. I'm not sure I, I liked <laughs> In some angles it just makes the ink blending that I'd done with the blue look kind of smudged but in other angles it really adds some nice depth so I don't know. Um, I have a white card base to which I'm adhering a slightly larger rectangle of contrasting pattern paper and then I will add my ink blended pattern paper on top using the same liquid glue. As a final touch I added some Nouveau drops in both the Sea Breeze and the Limoncello. So I added three of the Sea Breeze and then I also added some Limoncello and keeping the clusters in odd numbers is very appealing to the eye which is why there are three clusters of Nouveau drops. So that finishes my ninth card. And then we're on to my final card. And my final card, as I usually do, is one to use up snippets. So you may recognise this oval as the one I had set aside from my second card. So I stamped a sentiment and a butterfly onto it using Alter New Forest Glades ink. And then I'd cut down some other pieces of pattern paper, other snippets. The blue panel for the background was a fresh sheet of pattern paper. I hadn't cut into that one, but all the other ones are leftovers from ones I'd already started using bits from in the other cards. I'm just adhering everything into place with my craft glue. I did get that purplish panel slightly wonky. I should have used my T-square ruler to help me line it up, but luckily it doesn't show. It's not very obvious on the final card, so it's not the end of the world. So all those elements were added with my liquid glue, and then finally I'm adding the focal panel, the oval, with foam tape just to pop it up. And then I'm going to finish off by adding some Nouveau drops in. And again, I'm using the yellow and the blue, the limoncello and the sea breeze. And I'm adding the yellow only onto the yellow pattern paper. And I will add the blue to the blue pattern paper. This first blue drop is a bit closer to the purple panel than I would have liked because it spat a bit. I didn't test it over a scrap paper like I normally do, which I should have done. So that finishes the last of my 10 cards. You can see more pictures if you go over to my blog and if you want to know what products we use they're all linked in the description box below or also over on my blog. Thank you for watching this video and if you'd like to subscribe to see my future videos there's a bubble on screen that you can press now. There's also some more videos here that you may be interested in. I would love to hear from you in the comments or over on social media. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!